wondering, um, following the success of the first book and then the the, the animated um, version of it, uh, I was wondering what you set out to accomplish with the sequel. Yeah, well, in a, in a in a sense, like more of the same. We want to create kind of a consistent tone across the universes, but I think that we also really want to expand the the palette, broaden the palette. So this time we have a talent show, at, you know, at a rec center. We also have leisure towers, um, and, and we get to meet some of Roderick's bandmates. So I think we're sort of world building in a way that that's kind of fun, and um, we're going to keep keep adding with each film. I, speaking of that, uh, I was wondering how much of this film uh, stays true to the book, and then uh, uh, along the lines of the world building, how much of that uh, did you add any new twists, or did you add any unexpected sort of um, surprises to it? Yeah, I think the biggest surprise is that it's got an emotional backbone to it. Um, in my when I first wrote the Diary of a Wimpy Kid books, that wasn't concerned at all about writing a good story or writing something that was emotionally resonant. I just wanted to tell a bunch of jokes. So now I'm writing for film and so I, I or for the screen. And so I need to make sure that the stories really have emotional impact. So I'd say that's the biggest change is that the engine of the whole thing is an emotional story between Greg and his older brother, Roderick. Do you uh, have to pull from your own life experiences in order for these stories to connect with the audience, particularly the younger audience? I do. You know, I draw from from my experiences as be, being a brother, growing up with an older brother who had a band in the basement, just like Roderick does with Loaded Diaper. And I, I think in life, you know, as a writer, you, you just draw from everything. You use everything you've ever learned. Um, and so I definitely drew heavily from my own experiences as a kid. And I was just wondering, what do you hope uh, audiences take away from this? Because this is the second film uh, in the series, and there's a lot of um, emotional, uh, you know, nuance to it because it's not just, as you said, a silly kind of thing. There, there's, there's something kind of at stake, but it's a very home, very grounded and um, in a way. Yeah. That's... What I hope audiences take away from it is, of course, laughter and self recognition. I think that what's really fun about working for Disney is that we're trying to create family. Uh, films for the whole family. Um, so that's a little bit different because you know, we're not doing stuff just for kids. We want to make something that the family can enjoy together. Um, so that is, if it creates conversations and creates bonding between family members, then that's a great byproduct of this whole thing. About the animation, what what's that like to, I know this is the second one, but what's that like to see this kind of evolution of your work um, going from the live action to um, to the animation because the animation it stays true to your to your artistry to your your stylization of um, the diary of the Whippy Kid books. Yeah, it's really rewarding because I I'm not the best artist, but but these people who you know, take my work and put it into in, into three D animated characters, they're they're awesome at what they do, and so they bring a lot of life to to the characters that that I wouldn't be capable of bringing to them, uh, you know, in this way. Um, so it's just really rewarding to to kind of create the template and then have somebody else fill in the the frames. Well, thank you so much, Jeff. I really appreciate it. Uh, I, I I had a lot of fun watching it uh, with my uh, family over the Thanksgiving weekend, and oh, uh, I just going to um, just going to tell everyone else to watch it because it's just a joy to watch. Um, thank I you. Really appreciate that. Thanks so much. Bye bye. All right, take care. Professional artists and professors, maybe a nerd who's just like you, talking about the things that you like too. So I invite you to the NOC in full color. You see.